Michelle from Beverly Lane TV and today we're going to talk about bags which happen to be my absolutely favorite accessory. I'm all about finding all different types of bags, big or small and of course at all price points. Bags are my splurging specialty. That is the only item I will actually reach into my bank account for a little bit more extra money if I really find a bag I'm in love with. Pretty much though, um, all the bags I'm going to show you today are all oversized bags. I love oversized bags. Sometimes I don't have enough stuff to put in them, but to me they still look great. And they can also help you make look slimmer on, you know, just depending on the bag and like the style. So I'm going to show you some of my bags, some of my favorite oversized bags. Um, I'm going to start with, uh, this is one of my favorite ones. This is a coach bag. It's very traditional, very basic. As you can see, it's really big and it's really sturdy. You can put a lot of stuff in this bag. Uh, I think I've even taken it like to the gym with me because you can put so much in this. As you can see, it has like the gold metal hardware on the sides, nothing on the base of the bag. And here's the bottom. It has also a little gold details towards the bottom of the bag. I love this bag. I mean, this bag I've had for three years and it still is in immaculate shape. And I mean, that's really because of the brand. I mean, it's Coach, so it's going to be long lasting leather and it looks really good. So this is my first bag. My next bag is this little white number. I really love this bag. I mainly wear it in the spring and in the summer. As you can see, it kind of has like the cinched in belt detail in the front, which I, I thought was just really unique and different. Like I really don't see anything like that. And again, it has gold hardware on the sides. And it's not as wide as that previous coach bag, but as you can see, it like it kind of is like an hourglass shape. It gets wider as it goes down, which I thought was just really cool. And I like the black piping, the black stitching. And the gold studs. I've had this bag for about about the same as the coach, three years. And as you can see, three years ago studs weren't in, and they're in right now. So this bag is perfect for this season right now, actually, with the gold studs or just studs in general being a, a hot trend. Next bag is Clearly you can see I have a thing for gold studs. Um, it's not done on purpose, I swear. It's just, well, I guess what I'm drawn to when I see bags. Here's this navy bag, I love this bag. And I actually got this bag, believe it or not, from one of like those bag kiosks like in, in the mall. Like I'm sure you all have seen them. I know they're all different, like different owners or whatever. But I just got this at a kiosk in, in the mall. And I think it's really different. It has actually like contrasting fabric. Right here, it's almost like um, a felt or like velvet fabric. And then it's, you know, as you can see everywhere else, leather and, and like a rust gold hardware. And this flips open actually. And then you can get inside the back. So I thought that was really cool. And navy is a color you can wear like all season long. I know most people are used to only wearing navy like maybe in the fall and in the winter. But I, I wear this bag any time of the year. Next we have this bag. Ugh, I love a red bag. It's like to me such a big and like good statement bag. Like it spices up almost any outfit regardless of whatever color you're wearing. Um, it has the chain gold detailing. And actually in the front I didn't buckle it but that's what it looks like with the buckle and then you unbuckle it to get inside, to get inside the bag. But I absolutely love this bag. I always get so many compliments on it. And this bag I just bought from like a local boutique, but it was under $50. I've had this bag for at least a year, so it's done me pretty well so far. And like I wear this bag all year round as well. I love the detailing on it. I love how big it is. Sometimes because it is so big and it does have a lot of compartments on the inside, I can't find um, stuff when I'm looking for it. But fashion comes first. So. 
The next bag I want to show you is this bag. I don't know what it is. I'm just noticing like I have all these bags with gold hardware on them. That's, I swear, not done on purpose. But this bag is really, really unique. In the front, you can see it has like this woven textured pattern in the front. And like, I remember like, I think maybe two seasons ago, like the woven pattern was really in. And regardless of whether it's in or not this year, I don't really care. I'm still gonna wear the bag. But it's a good brown bag. I really think every girl should have like a nice brown bag in their like bag collection. And the thing I love about this are the details. On the side pops out these little pockets. And usually when I wear this bag, I put my cell phone in it because if I'm carrying it, I can just easily, like my phone rings or I need to call someone, I can just go in right there instead of like having to like, like search all through the bag. This bag is really big on the inside. It has a zipper in the, just across the top. So you just zip it closed. And these just snap. It has a little pocket on the back. A really cute bag, just really sturdy. Some gold studs down at the bottom. And the last bag I'm gonna show you is the bag that I most recently bought. And I just bought this bag. Um, I just bought this bag like two weeks ago at a trade show actually and I bought it for the wholesale price. So this bag was only $18 and I'm so happy to say that because that's a really good deal. And as you can see this bag is like has a gray, it's a gray and it has silver hardware. Finally a bag that has silver hardware in my collection. And I really love this bag. You can see it has these tassels in the front which is just so different and unique. And also, it's braided through the bag. It's kind of um, like the um, the duffel bag. Not the duffel bag, but like the... I'm trying to think. What is the name of it? You know, like the bag where you can pretty much... Like, you can close it this way by pulling. And it has just the rope going all the way around it. It has silver studs going down the front. And also in the back of the handles. And it has a zipper in the back. This bag, I don't even know where you can find this bag. Like I said, since I bought it at a trade show, I mean, buyers were there, so they're going to buy this for whatever store they want to, you know, they think it'll work in. But I'm really excited I got this bag for only $18. So, well, that's pretty much it of like my collection of oversized bags. I have a lot of, I'll have a lot of bags, but these are like my favorite big oversized bags and like I said I wear them all year round pretty much and to me like an oversized bag is a necessity because I carry a lot of stuff um unnecessary stuff sometimes but I carry a lot of stuff in my bag but um yeah that's pretty much it um thanks for watching